All right, people, it's time for an example tutorial. Now consider a restaurant and we have a few tables in the restaurant. And then there's this guy usually at the door who greets the customers. Not really sure if he has a name, but if you guys know what he's called, then please leave a comment. Anyway, so what he does is let's say a customer walks in and says table for two, please. And then this guy takes them to the table that has two seats. Now let's say the next customer walks in and says table for four please. Then this guy again takes the customer to a table that has four seats. And let's say a third customer walks in and says table for eight please. Then the customer is taken to a table which has eight seats by this particular guy. So depending on what table the customer requested for, this guy right here takes them to the appropriate place. Now in our Node.js world, this guy right here is going to be a router module. So depending on which URL the user requested from the server, the router module decides how to react to it. So to create a router module, we need two things. The first one is the request URL the second one is the get or post parameters. Now remember the request object we pass while creating a server? Well this information can be extra extracted from that request object and but to, um, for example if we had this particular let's say HTTP localhost 888 slash home question mark channel equals jotmon then this home is going to be our path and then this channel equals jotmon is going to be our parameter. But we need to interpret this information from the request object. So we will be using two additional modules. The first one is called a URL module and the second one is the query string module. So enough of chit chat, let's start coding a router.js module. So going back to our app.js, we first, let's sorry, going back to our server.js, we need to first figure out the URL path that was requested to the server. So in our server.js, we are going to be requiring a new module. So variable URL is equal to require, this is going to be a core module, so just URL. Now, we within the uh, function we are going to say variable path name is equal to the URL module pass method and we are going to be passing the request objects URL so request dot URL and then we are going to be extracting the path name and in our console dot log let's say request received for and then the path name. All right, now you can go ahead and save it. And now let's create a router module. So file and save it as router.js. And in a router.js, let's just have a basic function. Let's say function route and let's pass the path name let's pass the path name where we are going to route and let's just log for now that routing a request for this path path name all right and then let's go ahead and export this function so exports dot route is equal to route <coughs> excuse me fair enough now our server now our server needs to be aware of this router module so we need to inject this dependency by the way I've got a video on dependencies in the angular JS series you might want to check that out so anyway to create this dependency route is going to be passed as a parameter to our start server function 
So let's say route and then once we have received the request for that particular path name, let's route it. So route of path name. But wait a minute, how does the server know about route? So how where are we specifying this route? So let's go back to our app.js and let's require our router module. So variable router is equal to require and since it is created by us dot slash router and then to our start server function we are going to be passing router dot route so what we have done here is we have our app.js which is the entry point we are going to call server dot start server using and by passing this route method now in our server.js this route is going to be passed and by calling this route with path name it is actually going to say routing a request for that particular path name so let me save it router.js let me save server.js let me save app.js let's go ahead and open a command window here and when we type node app.js uh, let me quick okay all right I already have a server running sorry about that so let's say node app.js and it says server started on localhost port 8888 and when we go back to our browser and refresh and if you have a look at the command window it says request received for the home page and then request received for fav icon that so this is the fav icon request i was talking about which we are going to ignore so if we change our if we change 8888 to slash home then it's going to say request received for home so so far we have created a router which can distinguish between the URLs that the server was requested for. And in the next video let us see how to handle these particular URL requests. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.